Hi guys, welcome back. Today I bring a video about word problems. I'm going to show you six different word problems and how to solve each one of them. Um, this video is actually only part one, so if you want to know about part two, I'm going to show different and uh, um, how to solve the different other problems. So subscribe and stay tuned. So let's go. The first question says, Ashley runs 24 miles race. She ran 6 miles in 1 hour, 6 miles in 1.2 hours, 6 miles in 1.5 hours, 6 miles in 1.6 hours. So how long did it take to finish the race? So first of all, they're asking us about the time right and uh, to solve this kind of question we have the distance in total which is 24 miles and then um they're giving us the time as well so six miles in one hour six miles in 1.2 six miles in 1.5 six miles in 1.6 so we have time so how long did it take to finish the race okay so it's very straightforward question they're asking us about how long which means time and in total right so we just have to add everything so it will be 1 plus 1.2 plus 1.5 plus 1.6 that's it and now you can either do it um with hand or you can use calculator because in every question in the HESI there is going to be a calculator right next to the question. So you put that in the calculator and you will get 5.3 hours. Now if you don't see it in this way you can also see it in 5 and the fraction because 1 divided by 2 is 0 0.33333 and so on so it's the same thing so 5.3 hours or five and a half hours it took Ashley to finish the race this question is about chickens there is actually two chickens and they lay six eggs in 24 hours so six eggs in 24 hours now how many chickens will lay 24 eggs in 24 hours? Now, to solve this kind of question, first we see that they're asking us how many chickens. So first we write chickens because we have that information, right? And we're also talking about um, eggs. So we have the same period of time in 24 hours and in 24 hours. So that's good. They're asking about chickens, right? So in the first statement, we have that two chickens lay six eggs. So two chickens lay six eggs. And how many chickens, which is our eggs, will lay 24 eggs? This is how you put the question into words. And now you have to use the X method, which is a multiplication method. You cross multiply it. 2 multiplies with 24, 6 multiplies with X. So we, I'm just going to write it here. 24 multiplied by 2 is equal to the other side. 6 multiplied by X. Now 24 multiplied by 2 is 48. 6X that comes um, and then x is 48 divided by 6 48 divided by 6 is 8 so um, 8 chickens is needed to lay 24 eggs in 24 hours now um, I have two separate videos for this for this type of questions which is ratio proportion it's called the box method please go check my video and also this part i have used equations um all the different algebraic expressions equations and rules i also have a video for that so go check that one too now the balloons questions says balloons come in a pack of 50 okay in one pack there are 50 balloons now how many packs will it be required for 10 kids that need 15 balloons each so there is 10 kids and each kid 
has to have 15 balloons. So the way to do this is first of all, um, we need to see how many balloons will be needed, right? So for 10 kids, if there are 10 kids and each kid needs 15, you multiply 10 by 15, we get 150 balloons. So we need that amount of balloons. Now they're asking about the packs, right? And again, we can use the box method to express it in a orderly manner and understand better. So we can say packs and balloon. Now in one pack, there is 50 balloons. Okay, how many packs, that's our X, will be it uh will we need if we want 150 balloons there we go remember cross multiply so 150 multiplied by 1 is 150 obviously and 50 multiplied by x is 50x now because 50 and x are multiplying the 50 will go in the opposite sign which will be division so 150 divided by 50 will be our x and that will be 3 so we need three we need to buy three packs for this amount of kids and this amount of balloons okay now the diaper question a baby needs his diaper change six times a day so in a day the baby needs to change six times the question is how many times does it need does he need to be changed in a year okay so for this um question we can put it as the times that it that he needs to be changed so times changed and days in how many days right so 6 times changed in one day okay how many times does it need to be so how many times so that will be our x in in a year now whenever you're doing this type of cross multiplying technique or box method you need to have the same units so let me just write that down for you to remember it needs to have the same units so I cannot put here one year, right? It doesn't make sense because we're talking about days. So in a year, we said that there is 365 days. So now that makes more sense. Remember, cross multiply and put it as an equation. So let me write it here. 365 multiplied by 6 and 1 multiplied by x is x. So we need to multiply 365. Um, by 6 which is 2,190 so he needs to be changed 2,190 times in a year that's a lot of diapers anyways um, there is this question is about girls and cats so it says there is seven girls and each girl has seven cats. How many legs are in the group? Now, when they're talking about the legs, they're, they're referring to both the girl's legs and the cat's legs. So you need to take that into consideration, right? So uh, what we have to do first is because they have seven cats and seven cats have, um, I mean, cats have four legs obviously so seven multiplied by four okay um and then what we do we also have to put like i said the girls and girls a human has two legs so you add those two legs so you get 30 that's for one person right this is for per person <laughs> That's per person because each girl has seven cats. So if I have seven cats, I multiply it by four. 
and then add my two legs I get 30 so there's 30 legs with me but if I take it in the group if we talk about the group in total I have to take that 30 that we got up and multiply it by 7 because again there is 7 girls in the group so 30 multiplied by 7 is 210 legs in total lastly um 50 cars are washed in 20 minutes. How many minutes will it take to wash 80 cars? Again, this is a very straightforward question. Whenever you see, and there, like, whenever you see, like, it's a clue, you have three values 50, 20, and 80, and then there is how many, like, in X, you go straight forward to the box method question. So, 50 cars in 20 minutes okay so first we can obviously do cars in one area minutes in the other area so we write 50 cars in 20 minutes and how many minutes will be our x if we want to wash 80 cars we cross multiply this and we write 50 x is equal to 20 multiplied by 80 right 20 multiplied by 80 you apply all the equations you multiply this and then you divide it by 50 using the calculator which is much each much easier that will get us to 32 minutes to wash 80 cars thank you so much like i said subscribe to stay tuned for part two of word problems i'm gonna put more difficult word problems that you might see in the in the problems and questions of the HESI and I'm gonna give you secrets on how to re like do it really fast